Trap Elich is, I've been saying this for so long. This deck is insane. And in today's video, I'm going to show you why Trap Elich is absolutely the best deck of this format. Regardless of dice roll, regardless of anything. The deck's just fucking absolutely insane. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. If you're new to the channel, if you're here for the first time, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Because I already assume that every one of you are already subscribed. So smash it. And then smash the like button and check out the beautiful DriftGaming.com, baby. Check it out. Click on all the links. And let's get started, boys. Trap Elledge greatness. New format, new balance. Let's get it. The reason why I say Trap Elledge is so powerful is every deck slightly got worse in this balance. But Elledge went virtually unscathed. And because everything else went slightly shittier, this deck's just crazy. So I'm going to show you guys a replay here against B-Trooper, which is an up-and-coming deck that a lot of people think has potential. But this is like... <laughs> Every deck is free, okay? I want you guys to look at my hand right now. We're going second. The, uh, there's a common belief, it's a misbelief, that trap decks cannot go second. That is so much further than the truth, it is unfucking real that there, if I had a choice, if I'm facing against, if, imagine you're facing against Tri Brigade and you open an effect veiler, do you feel safer with one effect veiler or do you feel safer with one torrential? Be honest. Uh, when you know you're setting five and when you know revolt is not gonna randomly hit a 20 percent torrential and even if you did trap will just get another one like look at my hand doesn't matter if it's trap brigade doesn't matter if it's any deck against drytron we have three more dark ruler solemn strike we have nine cards draw one you stop the herald and you kill them traps going second there's a reason why true draco was so insane when it was at full power because even going second you just set rivalry you set apocalypse you set up some traps you just auto win even going second this deck is actually crazy. So, in this scenario, I mean, my opponent was over. I won Nats. Yeah, well, I'm about to win this duel. <laughs> All you gotta do, I opened three Trap Trick. This is like the worst hand ever. Three Trap Tricks. I don't even care. It literally just doesn't matter. I'm gonna use every single one of them at some point. Goes in. A fact, sure. Go off. There's nothing this man can do here. The idea behind Traps and Monster Traps going second, every Trap here is crazy going second. Goes in, clears boards. Torrential clears boards. Trap trick clears boards. It gets anything you want. There's really nothing you can do here. I put up a conk to save my life points. Uh, I pop that. I go punishment. I can very easily ice person this whenever I want to. But I'm like, I, I can clear this with a golden ward. I'm not even going to waste my time with it. I'm going to pop the field spell. I'm just going to go off a little. That gets ash. I don't even care. The reason why this deck is so inherently insane. Look, like one, one elixir card will turn to like five by turn three. So... Despite the fact that you have five traps to begin with turn one, turn two, you'll have five traps. Turn three, you'll have like four traps. Turn four, you'll have like four traps. Like every single time you have a bunch of traps, so the engine never dies. That's why it's so broken. I go torrential here. I let him plus a little bit. Like I literally just don't care. There's nothing he can do whatsoever. I ice prison to get rid of that now. There's just nothing he can do. Like there's really not. I couldn't Scarlet in that scenario because I had to activate trap trick. And I, if I activated Scarlet, I couldn't ice prison. So it just doesn't matter. I let him get a few pluses here. It just doesn't matter. Look at this. I have four sets. It's like turn four, turn five. He literally just auto scoops. He had one extra card than me, but he knew he couldn't do anything. This is why Trap LH is such a problem. Going second, again, look. I mean, you play like five plus floodgates, and every trap you play blows up the entire board. All you need to do is just draw one of them. You have five cards. He's going first, but he chose to play evenly in Lightning Storm. So he's going to see how, how it's going to turn out here. It's going to be very interesting, actually. This duel right here... The game two is very interesting because I know for a fact, like, I don't expect evenly because he's going first. He searches Kumungus, which it seems like this deck can do, which is just fine. I like none of this stuff hurts me. I'm gonna. I don't know he's playing uh, evenly Lightning Storm. If there was a game three, I would make sure to keep a face of card for him at all times. But definitely caught me off guard. Anyways, I'm gonna extravagance here. I'm gonna get a massive plus. I'm just gonna set five. What could he do to stop me? Like, I'm actually very curious to tell. Like, like what could he do? I understand he's Lightning Storm evenly, but he went first. When we go first, we have Starlight Road to stop all this. I go Conk. I set this up. There's really not much he could do here. I go Ice Prison to get rid of this. My turn. I go Extravagance. I draw into more traps. Set. Set five. He goes Lightning Storm. I'm like, bro, that's so sad. But is it? He Lightning Storm five sets. We lost five traps. We got Lightning Storm for five. Do I look concerned? Do I look concerned even in the slightest? Absolutely not. He Kumungus is here to put Lord back in the graveyard. I don't care. I have Scarlet in my hand. He's going to go off here. He's absolutely not going to kill me. He's going to try and do some damage. I'm like, okay, do whatever you want. You're literally just going to lose regardless. Despite the fact of you resolving Lightning Storm for five. 
while he went first, which by the way is very questionable of a play. But anyways, to actually play Lightning Storm when you're going first. But it's fine. He's going to go off here a little bit. He's going to put up some boards. Uh, you know, I'm like, okay, sure, sure. I'm streaming while he's dueling here. I'm like, bro, oh, this, like, this duel is over. This duel is over the second he decided to click uh, looking for a duel or whatever. It was over the second he decided to face against the best deck after Pendulum. So anyways, I'm going to set here. I have Starlight Road, so he's fucked now. I just set five. There's nothing you could really do here. He has Duster. <laughs> Bro, he has Duster, but I have Starlight Road. But he, he, and he evenlies. I'm pretty sure he'll stream sniping me there, not to just activate Duster right off the top. But I had Starlight Road for his Duster. He opts to go evenly instead to get rid of some cards. He resolved He resolved a Lightning Storm for five. He resolved it evenly for three. And like, he still has no chance. This trap deck's fucking insane. So I'm gonna attack for 25, set, look. And I literally have set four. I got Lightning Storm for five, I evenly for three, and I still have set four. Duster, no fucking chance. That's just getting solemn fucking judgmented. Now I'm gonna let him go off a little more. I will Caro banish that. He sets one, and it's, it's, it's the end. It's the end for him. Weevil, you're trash. Trap, best deck after Pendulum. Let's go. This is gonna be the last, last replay. We're gonna just fast forward the whole way through. Like, this deck's insane, and I'm not saying this because, like, for any other reason other than the uh, absolute facts. If it was up to me, I would hope Pendulum would be this powerful. And it is. Pendulum's more powerful than this, actually. But Droll exists. Four hand traps exist. And let you, like, you should be playing chess when your opponent is playing checkers. You know for a fact that your opponent is going to be playing hand traps mainly to stop combo decks. Check out any of the last five decks that top. Any of the top five decks in the last YCS. The last LCS. The last PPG. The last regionals. The last remote dual invita invitational. Check everything. None of them even main deck one spell trap removal. Not even one. And if they side deck, they're side decking three twin twisters, maybe a duster. That's it. Like, no deck respects Elit, which is why we need to play chess when these bums are playing checkers. So, does he have a chance here? Hell no. He stands no chance whatsoever. Like, look at this. No chance. No chance. Uh, call me Vince McMahon, bro. No chance. Skill drain. Nothing. Search. Sure. No problem. Like, I don't even need skill drain. I could activate Torrential, Ice Prison, Strike, like, any trap goes in, rivalry, any trap is fine. So look at this hand. He opened the best possible hand that this man could possibly open. Twin Twister, Solemn Strike, Imperm, all of it. Look at this. Look at this hand. It doesn't get better than this. Strike, Revolt, Twister, Appalooza, so I can't Lord send Twister. He sets the Twister, which I don't agree with because, okay, I understand he's Appalooza, so that's fine. Okay, he has Appalooza, so it's okay. But typically when I save twist, twist, Twister in hand, in case I have a Duster, a Lightning Storm, Golden Lord, Nadir, any possible way to get rid of it, Elan, Chris Elan, etc. I don't even play Elan because it's fucking trash. I'll explain why later. I go Duality. The reason why is, look, if I have Elan here, what's it do? Elan gets me a trap that does nothing. I already have access to one. Duality can search me a trap as well, but it also gives me the, the versatility to search a trap if I need to, going second. Going first is not a concern, it's about going second. So now, there's no chance I lose. I set five real traps. I don't set with Karo, because I know for a fact there's a chance he has Twister. I know he has no card in hand, but he's gonna revolt to, to use Nerval Effect to add a card. So if he twin Twisters in that scenario, I wanna make sure it's all free. That's also why I keep Starlight Road in my hand. I, I thought he would save cards. I thought if he had a Twister, he'd keep it in hand. I literally called the Twister while I'm dueling. So I save this because he said it. The only way this deck loses is shit like Duster. I'm telling you. That's all you can feel free to play Starlight going second against shit decks like Tribe Brigade. So he banishes my Ice Prison, which typically would be amazing, but it's just totally fine. Twin Twister, look at this. He gets rid of Ice Prison, Solemn Strike, Dogmatic of Punishment, okay? If Tribe Brigade will ever win against, uh, when they go first against Elich, it's right here. They literally got rid of my Strike, my Punishment, and my Ice fucking Prison. Can you take that in for one second? Normal Summon Rat, Torrential, GG. Just like that. It was really that fucking easy, bro. Like, it was that easy. End Phase, Scarlet, Sanguine. Was, oh my good, like, do you see what I'm talking about here? Do you see what the words coming out of my mouth? He literally got rid of all my sets. He now has three cards left. And I, ha he, he's done. He's done, it's over. It's over. Do you guys understand how powerful this is now? Like, literally, if he had any chance to win, it was that hand. And he stands literally zero chance. Play these, he goes strike. I'm like, sure thing, bro. 
Attack for 25. He's at 15. Set. Effect. I have set four again. This is turn three. I've set four. Effect. I'll just strike that. I'll just strike that casually. See ya. Guys. This deck's fucking insane. I'm going to show you guys the updated deck list right now. This is the deck list. In about two, three weeks, I'll be showcasing you guys a deck list with Sky Prison. The new card that actually breaks El Lich. That was made for El Lich. A level 10 card that stops the only way you lose, which is Duster Lightning Storm. So it's fucking insane. And so just any trap you want. Uh, it's not out yet. I want to show you guys something you could use for right now. What, for the next month on Dueling Book while you're still allowed. On, because, uh, on Rated or whether at Locals. These decks, I mean, they're absolutely insane. So the reasoning behind duality over uh, cards like Curse Land or, or Goods or whatever, Curse Land would get you a shit trap that does nothing anyways. You don't want to be setting Conk and Wakero. You don't want to be drawing four Elish cards. That's how you lose. Uh, the reason why we're playing one white Elixir Black Awakening is the ratios of the cards. So four Elixirs and five Golden Lands. Typically you want like five and five, but unfortunately Elixirs suck aside from Scarlet. So we're just adding one Black Awakening which will help you get to Lord as well, because you're not playing Cursed Land. So you're playing four and five. That way, by the end, of, a lot of people play three Scarlet, three Conk, three Wakero. That's like the most garbage ratio I have ever seen in my life. Because at the end of the duel, you're gonna have three Golden Lands sitting in your graveyard, doing fuck all, doing nothing, wishing that you had at least one extra Elixir in your deck. And anyone that's played Elixir for more than like ten duels would agree with exactly what I'm saying. So now, Chris Elixir. They should Chris Elixir. You might not see your Elixir cards. But if you look at the numbers here, three Scarlet, three Conk, that's six, two Wakero, eight, one Black Awakening, nine, three Trap Trick, 12, three Duality, 15, three Extravagance, 18. You're playing 18 starters. Why the fuck would you need more starters than 18? You're going to see Elegy Engine plenty. But this way, it gives versatility. Duality and Trap Trick don't always need to get you an Elegy card. So now, you're not, instead of playing eight, you're playing like nine Elegy cards, but more like, like 18 if you really want to. That's why you don't want to draw too many of these, otherwise you brick. And all the traps are just insane. Solemn Judgment going first is obviously not the best, but you have to main it to save more cards in your side deck. Now for this, also, three trap tricks. I understand, like, it's like it's okay to draw multiple trap tricks turn one, because, like, you, you only need to resolve one anyways. You're not resolving all five of your traps on one turn, I'm telling you. So just save the other trap trick for the following turn. Side deck, you need to play Serumo Lava Golem. It's not question, no question about it. If your opponent sets up, is playing Drytron and puts up, uh, you know, the classic board, a Herald, Dragoon, whatever, Solemn Strike might not be enough sometimes because Dragoon single-handedly beats this deck. The worst matchup of this deck is Dragoon. You need Serial Mode, you need Lava Golem. Going first, you put in Triple Board or Triple Starlight. Even if you don't uh, draw your Starlight or your Solemn Judgment, the only way you lose is Duster and Lightning Storm. That's it. And evenly match. I mean, no one plays evenly. Duster and Lightning Storm and Twin Twister are played a lot. So these cards stop them, and Starlight Road stops two of them. So if they open both Lightning and Twin, or like double Lightning, they have to be Lightning, Starlight Road, now you just negate it. They have open Duster, whatever. Border is another card like that, where Border shuts down 90% of the deck's format. You just summon a Border. Even if they Lightning Storm your back row, they, they might have to Lightning Storm the Border, because it single-handedly wins by itself. And then Triple Storm Duster, because as you see in the deck, it has so many cards for like, so many monster cards to stop monsters, but not enough for traps. And now against Trap decks, you have six Storm Dusters because of three Trap Trick. Three is better than two, because if you hard draw a duster and have a trap trick, you could blow up their entire back row, uh, go two for four, uh, plus two instantly, and then a trap matchup that's like fucking insane. Uh, to have a side deck, put in three sphere, three lava golem for literally six spells. Your spells will be useless against every combo deck they're getting negated. Get rid of Black Awakening, get rid of three duality, get rid of three extravagance, that's seven. You, I mean, put in one star, storm duster if you want to. Get rid of every spell. Going second, your spells are getting negated. If you face a combo deck, like, let's say you're facing Dragon Link. Go Duality. All right, Boral Savage Dragon. Extra like, they start with Extravagance. Hot Red. You just waste cards for nothing. Your goal going second is not to activate spells. It's not to activate nothing. Your goal going second is to set five traps. Duality and Extravagance do not get stopped by Appaloosa. This is why we opt for these cards over Nadir Servant and Ecclesia. Because they get fucked by Appaloosa. Chris Elan trying to search Golden Lord going second also gets fucked by Appaloosa. And Appaloosa is a, a card that a lot of decks put up right now. So... This is just the best meta call. Extra deck is right here, as you see. Play everything card for card. I know some of you guys might be thinking, some like, oh, what a weird ratio, bro. You're playing one Black Awakening and not three Wakero. Literally, just fucking trust me. Play this list card for card. I explained perfectly why you need to. And if you don't agree, it's not that you don't agree with me, but you're just you're just fucking wrong. Like, I'm just... I, I probably played more Elich than anyone in the universe in the last year. What I'm saying is, like, 
light years ahead of anyone if they disagree. It's not about disagreeing with me, it's the fact that you guys are just wrong if you think otherwise. These lists are like optimal as fuck. You just need to play them, period. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's a lot to take in. So if you want to play consistently this meta and win consistently, check this deck out and you guys will win. Make sure to check out TripGaming.com. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button and smash the like button. I love you all. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!